Hey guys, it's Raging Creation, and I know I haven't made a video in a while, and this camera might be off, because I'm recording it on my phone, and, um, the camera's way over on this side. I'm recording it on the, uh, LG G2, and I'm using the front-facing camera. I was gonna record the back, but, um, yeah, I don't know how on I could get it. Um... Not much is going on. A little update on things. Uh, Samuel has been born. When he was born, he weighed 7 pounds, 4 ounces, and was 21 inches long. Um, yeah, it, it was kind of scary at first, you know, because um, when he came born, he was real blue like a smurf. But, um... We, they, I guess they were guessing the cord got wrapped around his neck. They put him on oxygen for a little bit, not long at all, and then he was breathing on his own. Um, he started gaining his, uh, his, uh, color back. And with that, you know, he, um, I mean, when I went in there and first saw him, he still, his tips of his fingers were still blue and everything. Um, it was really scary. I'm glad it worked out, and he was born, and, I mean, he he was a little bit, you know, it's been, um, about eight, nine weeks, something like that, um, since he's been born, and, um, you know, he was having problems. He was constipated when, uh, she was breastfeeding him. They gave him some food. Gave her some formula, and the um, every time she feeds with formula, he poops. So I think she's she has uh, weaned off breastfeeding because um, he wasn't gaining the weight he needed and everything else. So, with that said, he um, he's doing pretty good now. Um, they still got the doctor's appointments and everything, you know. Um, not much is going on. I got my computer. I've moved to a new house, so I'll probably be doing a room tour pretty soon. Right now, it's really messy, and I need to clean it, um, between school and work and trying to find time to see Samuel and doing laundry, and, um, I don't really have time anymore. Um, you guys don't know this yet, but I was in a car wreck. My car was still drivable, so I still drove it um, for a while. And then um, when I was going down the highway, I know I was speeding. I was going 80 miles an hour, um, trying to hurry. And uh, when they, I had a headlight that would come on and off, on and off, and it was real iffy. So most of the time I was driving was one headlight. And when we put the when they put the new headlights in. It, um, when I got in the car wreck, the lock that holds the hood down and holds it from coming up, um, was locked. It was bent and locked in place, so you couldn't get the hood up. When they put my new headlights in, it gave loose, and so they rigged it. But when I was going down the highway, I'm guessing the wind got underneath the hood and built enough pressure and enough force, it, um, knocked it loose, and the, the, uh, hood of my wind, the hood of my car, Came up, hit my windshield, it uh, cracked my windshield, it knocked my rear view mirror now, down, so it's just dangling in the car now. Um, my hood's really bad dent. Um, when I was uh, on the highway, when it happened, my coworker was in the side, he helped me get off on the shoulder. I got out, I slammed it down, and it shut, it locked. Um, now, he's been trying to check on some stuff I guess when they were looking at my car and uh, now it's the lock is dangling um, it won't lock the uh, shocks that hold the hood up when you open it um, broke loose so eventually pretty soon I'm gonna be ordering a new hood I gotta get a new windshield um, I gotta figure out what I gotta do about my rearview mirror either I can just ghetto fix that 
um, with some super glue, or I might have to order a new rear view mirror and remount it. Hopefully not, cause since the lights, there's a cord, and then you have to reroute that, and I don't want to do that. Um, I, I know you can't really see my face or my eyes. It's really dark. Um, what's weird is I have my light on. I only have one bulb in there, but I guess this cam front-facing camera doesn't work well in light, but it had to do, do, do um, okay for right now. I'll eventually get more in there, and it will work. I, uh, computer, um, uh, a while back I had a problem, and, um, the motherboard in it, um, actually I can go grab that right now, hang on, um, it went out, like, we had real bad power flickers, and I didn't make it to my room in time to turn off my computer, so, uh, my computer shut off, and it wouldn't turn back on. This is the board. It's, uh, it's the Asus M5A97 um, R2.0. It was a good board. I liked it. It had some reading issues on the temps and stuff. But other than that, it was a um, pretty solid board. Um, try not to show my floor because it's messy. You can see my uh, memory foam deal for my bed right there. Um, I don't really use it. I don't like it because when it's on my bed, my sheets come off. It comes off. It it's just a hassle. So right now I don't have it on my bed. Um, but I ordered a new board. It is a MSI 970 gaming board, which is the theme I wanted to go for. I wanted to go for a red and black theme. Um, the Asus Crosshair 5 Formula Z and the Formula. Formula was discontinued and replaced with the Formula Z. The Formula Z was a good board. It's a board I've been wanting really bad since I've been wanting to build my computer, but it's so expensive I couldn't afford it. That board was $100. $100. It's got Sound Blaster on it. It's got the Killer Nick. It's got, you know, the overclocking and the utility and the temp controls and all that. It's, it's a great board. Um, it's rocking solid. Like, it's, it's solid. Um, an issue I had with my uh, CPU, though, when I switched out the board, the CPU was fused to the heat sink. I don't know if y'all have ever had that issue. Um, it took forever for me to get it off. Like, when I tried to, you know, twist and turn and loosely lift it up, Get the heat sink off. It brought the CPU with it straight out of the socket. Um, straight out of the socket. And so I had to figure out how to get it off. And I had issues and pins got bent and it wouldn't see, uh, set down in the, uh, new, in the new board. I bent them back. It still wouldn't set in. I tried one side. It wouldn't work. I tried sitting at one side and then that and eventually set in. I reapplied thermal pound like three or four times. Um, because my temps were a little high. I, I wasn't expecting it. But I think it's just the stock cooler being shitty, of course. I've been wanting to get a new cooler. I was supposed to be getting a new cooler. I haven't got it yet. Um, and then what was weird, my old video card, the Sapphire HD Radeon 7770 that I had, it worked in the old board. Nothing changed. I took it straight out of the old board, put it straight in the new board. It wouldn't power, even with the PCI power plugged in. I plug it, and the old board, it worked fine. The new board, it won't. So I had my friend um, take it to his house, try it in his computer, and it turned on instantly. Um, with that said, he let me borrow his uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 555. It works fine. It, I, I don't understand what's wrong with it. I think something with the PCI slot, it's not one to work with the AMD cards. For my birthday here in 15 days, probably when you see this video, um, I'm going to probably be getting an R9 285. I know it's not the greatest card. I was wanting to get a 280X, um, but, you know, I could get a 270 or 270X or 280 that are right at the same price as this 285 that I'm getting. 
But the 285 has DirectX 12, OpenGL 4.3, the 280, 270X, 270, you know, DirectX 11.2, Direct OpenGL 4.2. Um, so it's newer. It's It doesn't have to have the Crossfire bridge. Um, it goes through the PCI slots. Um, my board came with an NVIDIA SLI bridge, but the cards are, that I'm wanting or a card that's worth buying is just too expensive. So, you know, get a 285 for 199. It's a power color. It's full metal, braced. Um, three games with it. You know, two gigs of RAM. Um, it'd be nice to have that extra gig on the 280X. But other than that, once I overclock that card, it'll be pretty close. It's black and red, so it's gonna match the color scheme. I know color scheme isn't everything, but my case is black with red LED fan. You know, it's got a red motherboard. The only thing is it's got a blue memory, um, memory dim and a green memory dim. Um, this 4 gigs just wasn't cutting it with games now. So my friend let me borrow a 4 gig dim from him. Um, luckily, timings are right. Speeds are the same. It works fine. It's in dual channel, so I get the extra memory speed. Um, still the same CPU, same power supply. Um, but everything's rocking pretty solid right now. So expect a video pretty soon. I'm going to be selling my HD PVR pretty soon for probably $70 or maybe a little bit less. So with that money, I'm probably going to buy a new mic or a new headset or some speakers or something to help enhance my uh, setup a little bit and bring you guys more quality videos. I know I needed to make a video a long time ago. I just haven't got around to it. Um, other than that, you know, Samuel's doing good. I'm doing great at my job. My managers still love me. Um, I'm looking for another job because Brahms works me real late. And, um, it's really, uh, tough. But I'm doing that. My school grades dropped a little bit, but I'm going to get those back up there. Luckily, this semester's about over and then a grade reset, so I can do it again. Um... I still got all my signs aren't hung up, my man cave signs, my man cave rules, you know. Um, a lot of things are practically the same. I only have two TVs, one um, over on the nightstand for um, TV and one as a monitor. My niece took my other one for her room since we moved in a three-bedroom house now instead of the two-bedroom apartment. And, um, yeah, it's doing pretty great. Um, pretty soon I'm going to bring you all some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I know it seems like I can't run it, and it is hard for me to run, but it is possible. I just need a new video card, because the cards I have are pretty outdated. Um, other than that, yeah, expect videos pretty soon. I got to figure out, since I work four days a week, and see Sam to one day, and then having homework on like every day. And trying to fit laundry in there. I have to fit a video into my schedule. And it's been pretty rough. And then trying to plan dates. And because I'm wanting to take a man on a date. Shh, but hopefully I can do that pretty soon. Especially after I get my car fixed. Um, Christmas is coming up. So money is going to have to go toward presents for her and Samuel. And East is wanting me to buy her some. I probably won't be buying her anything but she really wants me to like every time she sees something on tv she's like can you buy me that will you buy me that i'm not made of money <laughs> okay i got a kid of my own um a lot of my money you know goes towards him and most of it's gonna go toward fixing my car um i really don't have a lot of money most of my money's gone by the time i'm paid you know a tire had a leak, so aired up and it'd be flat in like two hours or so, just sitting. So I had to get a new tire, and yeah, that was that was no fun. Anywho, this video is going on right at 15 minutes long. Um, there won't be any editing in this because my computer is off, and I can't get on my computer till further notice. It is working, I just can't get on it. Anywho, um, I will. Uh, talk to you guys later i hope you enjoy, enjoyed this little update on things going on um 
sorry, my hand's starting to shake. <laughs> but um, my girlfriend's thinking about uh, uploading a YouTube video and putting it on my channel. And uh, I need to know what you guys think about that. And she's going to tell you about how her, how her experience is with her pregnancy. Let me know how that what you think of that and see if you'd like to know how it was for her. Honestly, she had a real easy pregnancy. Um, she didn't have any cramping or anything. She was at the hospital until she started getting um, contractions. She was doing perfectly fine. She didn't. She only gave it like two good pushes, and he was out. He was. It was a breeze for her. Um, anywho, yeah, this video is going on 16 minutes long. Um, well, I just want to know what you guys think. Hope you enjoy this life update. And I'll bring bringing you some gaming content pretty soon. And once I get my car fixed, some videos of me on the road. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Rage and Creation out. Peace.